In this video, I'm going to show you seven exercises that you can do from home, from the comfort of your own chair to help relieve neck pain and stiffness. Now, these exercises are designed to help maintain or improve your neck mobility, as well as help you manage the long-term symptoms that you might be experiencing from neck pain. You might find that they help with some pain relief in the short term, but even if they don't, they should still help keep your neck nice and mobile. My advice is to try do them three to four times a day, doing each movement between five and 10 times. You might find it useful to do these first thing in the morning when waking up with your breakfast, at lunchtime, and then again in the evening with dinner. So the first exercise is rotation of the neck. So start off by turning your head to one side until you feel a stretch. Go back to the middle starting point and repeat this in the opposite direction and do this five to 10 times on each side. Number two is side bending or lateral flexion of the neck. So again, correct your posture, go to the midline and gently tilt your head towards one shoulder until you feel the stretch on the opposite side. Think of it like you're touching your ear to the opposite shoulder, but try to keep the shoulder in the same place so that the movement is actually coming from the neck. Once you've held this stretch for five to 10 seconds, go back to the middle and repeat it on the opposite side Again, doing this movement around five to 10 times. Number three is flexion. This means touching your chin to your sternum, and that's the bony bit in the upper middle chest. Bend your head forward gently until you feel a stretch behind your neck, and you'll generally feel that stretch down the back of your neck. Again, hold the stretch for five to 10 seconds, and you can increase the range of movement each time as the muscles start to loosen. Number four is the opposite of the movement we've just covered, and that's neck extension. So for this, start by going back to the neutral posture. Bend your head backwards as far as comfortable so that you're looking up at the ceiling. You'll feel a slight pull down the front of your neck. You can then return back to the starting point by tucking your chin down first and bringing your head back to upright and try not to let your chin poke out. Now the fifth exercise is to try and relax your shoulder muscles. For this, sit upright with your shoulders relaxed. First roll your shoulders back five to 10 times and then roll them forwards five to 10 times. Try start off by taking smaller movements before making these bigger. Now, the next few exercises are actually related to the upper back, but these are important because everything from the top to the bottom of the spine is connected, and people often find that when they have neck pain, they also have stiffness in the upper back as well. So the sixth exercise involves rotation of the spine. This might be difficult for you to do, so only do it if you feel able to. For this, take hold of the back of the chair, Look over your shoulder whilst turning the upper body and then repeat this movement on the other side. So the seventh exercise can again be done from the chair. For this again, sit on the chair, clasp your hands behind your neck and lean the spine against the back of the chair whilst exhaling, push the shoulders over the edge of the chair. Now for most people with neck pain, it should get better by itself over time, especially if you try to keep active and make sure that you get enough sleep and manage stress. Things like taking a warm bath, using heat pads, and making sure that you've got a good pillow are all things that you can try at home. If you feel like you need to take some medication to help relieve the pain, then you can always speak to a pharmacist before speaking to a doctor, and they may recommend things such as paracetamol, ibuprofen or ibuprofen gel, but make sure you always read the information leaflet on the medicine pack before taking them to make sure that these medicines are suitable for you to take. There are certain times when you might need to contact your doctor about neck pain, and these would include if the pain is too severe and unmanageable despite all of the things we've already discussed, if it's having a significant impact on your sleep that's not been helped with medicine or the exercises again that we've discussed, if you feel like your symptoms are progressively worsening despite trying the exercises and advice, or if symptoms have persisted for more than six to eight weeks without any signs of improvement, again, despite trying the exercises. Now, you'd also need to seek more urgent medical attention if you develop any of the following features. So if you develop shooting pains in both arms or legs, along with neck, neck pain, and these might feel like electric shocks, you should seek medical attention. Or if you get a band of pain around the chest, chest tightness or chest pain, clumsiness in the hands or fingers 
causing difficulty with things such as fastening buttons, tying laces or counting out coins, balance or walking problems including unsteadiness, stiffness of the legs or difficulty going upstairs or recent falls, difficulty passing urine where you can't control your bladder and wet yourself, or significant weakness of the muscles in your arm, hand or legs. If these symptoms develop rapidly over a few hours or days, you should seek help immediately at your emergency department. Secondly, if you've got a recent history of developing neck pain and have got a previous history of cancer or you're losing weight for no clear reason, then you should speak to your doctor. I've included some really useful links in the description box of this video from the NHS website, which contains lots of useful information about neck pain, as well as Arthritis Research UK, so please check these out if you've got time or you're interested, because they contain lots more useful information around neck pain, which I hope that you're going to find helpful. Finally, if you've got any tips that you want to share about your own experiences with neck pain or different things that have worked for you, then please, please leave them in the comments section. It's always super helpful when you do this and it often helps other viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Until next time, thanks for watching and bye.